try to kind of grab here. Oh, oh, we came from here. Okay. No, let's go this way. And uh, I thought I saw some bombs down there, so that'll that'll be interesting. We get to get a chance to fight some more bombs. They look a little bit a little bit different from what I remember them though. So maybe they're a different breed of bomb. Can bombs? Never mind. Anyways, they look different. I'm going to try to dispatch of them quickly. This looks like a weird type of level design as well. So I'm gonna focus on this bomb here really quick. The circuitron, circuitron. There we go. We killed him really fast. That's always a good thing. Um, before he gets a chance to explode, because that's just what it looks like. That's very, very good. You gotta be, be careful with the bomb guys, um, from what I've seen. So, I, just, I mean, they spiked me out in the one episode way, way, way back when. Uh, that was in the the dazzle days. So. Guy can't be uh, careful enough in this game, especially when you die. You don't switch uh, party leader. So, like I said, you gotta be very careful. And just patch of you. Nice, nice. And then he's done. That was a clean battle. I like that. And then let's grab this treasure chest with the two, the two dudes, right here. Of course, they're guarding it. They're not turning around. But that's okay. These guys aren't too difficult. So. We will treat them as such, and we will look past the battle and kill them all. And I just do love my treasure, so that is why I am very adamant about getting that said treasure. Because it's just very nice. I like treasures. Okay, switch to our Tri-Ravager party. And we will kill you, Mr. Pulsework Knight. And then, now... Hopefully, Fang will get out of the way, instead of attacking the wrong person. Although, that's okay, we made quick work of him. Now we can do a little bit more damage, just stabilize that bar. I think we actually use a potion. Actually, no, I think we might be able to survive it. So, let me see. I think I can survive one more hit, because we're going to stagger this guy next turn anyway. So, Yeah, as you can see... He staggered. That was a good call by me. A little bit, of, just another waste of an item, unfortunately. So I'm glad we didn't do that. And now he's. Yeah, oh man, <laughs> we killed him. Oh boy, that was very nice. Oh, we didn't get any spoils for it, but we have our treasure, a sweet, sweet treasure. Heroes amulet. Let's see what that does. Equipment. Equip. Someone told me to check out the axis blade, so I'm gonna see what that does. Uh, Hero's Amulet, what does this do? Cast Bravery. Ooh, I do like that. I do like Bravery. What does this, this Axis Blade do? Well, it brings everything down, apparently, but maybe that's just because I super upgraded everything. Um, someone told me to check it out, but maybe, maybe I'll check it out later. We'll see. We shall see. I have to do some research on that weapon. Not doing, not spoiling anything for myself, so that's good. See if there's treasure around this corner. Kind of looks like there's a little outlet here, so I could only expect that there'd be treasure. What? This game is a ripoff. Swear there'd be treasure. Oh well. Let us continue through the ruin. I believe these are called the ruins. Um, let's check the map. These are oh fifth arc. That's right. Far away through the fifth arc. Uh, maybe I'll stick around here and farm these bombs, but there's probably a better place somewhere around here. So. We shall see. Oh, they have little faces. I didn't notice that. Those are really cute. I like the circuitrons. They're very cute. Um, let's kill the circuitrons. Dispatch. Okay, circuitron number two. He does not look happy. Let's go kill him as quick as we can. Alright, he's dead. Very good. Very good. Now we'll take out this pulse work knight here. He's gonna be cake. He's gonna be cake. Angel food cake, to be specific, because I like angel food cake. But why would I kill something I like? I don't know, I'm just saying. I like angel food cake, so that's all I can that's all I can tell you. Man, this really makes me miss uh, the active paradigm changes too from Final Fantasy 13 2 demo, because it takes forever to go through the animation of three people. Like you thought two people was enough, but three is just like ridiculous. Nice. Nice, nice combat there. All right, let's see what's around here. Let's go up here. Let's see what's on our right. Two bombs, pulsework soldier. Let's see what's over here. Nothing. 
They're tricking me. I swear they're tricking me. Let's go down here because I know there's another treasure chest um, down in the bay here. I saw it in the cutscene. This is a treasure chest I did see that I'm not lying about. I swear. I swear to you I'm not lying. There's... No, 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 no. Wow, why the camera's messing up? There, yeah, that, that treasure chest right there. Okay, I was right. I was right. <laughs> I was getting nervous. I was like, I told everyone that I saw a treasure chest. But you guys probably saw it too. But then again, you guys are all experts and played the game before. So, blah. What do I have to say about that? <laughs> Alright, take out Circuitron C. And we can work ourselves on Circuitron A. Oh boy, doesn't look good. He looks... He's got arms too? I did not see that before. Oh good, we killed him. I thought he was going to explode because he started vibrating. Bombshell. Cool. Some more materials. I like my mats. If you know what mats are, it's short for materials. Let's see what we get here. Eight bombshells. That is more materials. I like, I like. Duffy likes. So, in lieu of Duffy liking things, let's continue. I think we're just going to go right through the runes and just kind of get on with it right now. I think we're leveled up pretty good for now. I mean, any farm I'm going to do is going to be moot. And it's just going to be to store um, more CP because I haven't gotten... I maxed out the Crystarians on their main rolls already, so there's really no point in uh, farming right here at least because we can just get through with this, the, the story a little bit more. I'm actually really curious as to see what, what they do with this focus, this focus business, because it just seems very interesting. And now that they've revealed a lot more about... Well, they've honestly created a, a more of a disparity between the group because everyone has different motives from the beginning, as you guys know. Uh, you know, on top of the fact that everyone is have the same motive, everyone's connected. Someone's gonna have to become Ragnarok and destroy a cocoon, and no one wants to do that. Well, okay, some people want to do that, and others don't. But I mean, I would expect that some of them don't want to destroy a cocoon because, especially the ones that live on there, and you know, Hope still has hope, and his he still has his father, and. Uh, shoot. Lightning and Snow have Sarah, who they're trying to save, and they're trying to figure her out. And it was so interesting, that little insert he put in there about Sarah. It was almost like a cheap shot at Snow to try to, like, discredit his his hopes and dreams. Because, like, it's been his, his mission to save Sarah this whole time. And it was just very interesting to, to see that little crack shot at him there. Let's Let's do a quick save here. Now that we're through the fifth arc, I think we are through the fifth arc, I don't know, either way, we are. The power within, the vestibular hold, um, kind of running through here, chapter chapter 10, I like it. And we're on disc 3, like, who would have thought? Oh, let me check those bombshells here. Upgrade. Let's check out this, uh, uh the Gladius. Let's check out this, these bomb ashes. They're not too bad. Spark clubs, spark clubs, iron shells are crap. Oh, these bomb shells are really nice. I'm sure they sell for better, but I need to level up everything. These radial bearings I could use. These perfect conductors are nice too. They're gonna be very helpful. Let me just use these to level up her weapon. Kinda wanna just do that, see where it goes. Level 14. Oh, we got a big bonus in strength there. I think that's going to be helpful later. Everyone's going to be like, No, why did you do that? And we'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> this would be fun. Oh, wow, look at these guys. These guys remind me of the little slugs um, that hop up in the air. But that's who they look like, too. Um, let's see. Let's Thundara these guys. They look like plants. Maybe they'd be weak to thunder. Oh, wow. Where's this nutrient? Oh my gosh, they're like spiking us out. Kill them all. Hurry up. <laughs> Alright, these guys shouldn't be too bad. Uh, what's this? Looks like they're stealing our health though. It's almost like the leech seed that everyone hated from, from Pokemon. Everyone hates being leech seeded. Because you have no control over it. And you're just like, damn it, stop it, stop it, Bulbasaur, I can't take it. But you can. Um, it actually wasn't too bad, they kind of scared me more than anything else. Let's see what's down this way. Nothing. What's over this way? Nothing. What are these? Oh, they came out of the ground? Oh, these guys. These guys look cool. Are these like Flan? Are these Flan family? The Phosphoric Ooze. I like oozes. They're, they look interesting. We do a lot of stagger on them, though, so that's good. And since we got that magic strength update, 
Oh, they're just they're a bunch of bitch slappers. I don't like that. Get creative with your slapping. Oh, they do poison. Crap. I didn't notice that. Well, they have really weak health, so... That wasn't actually too bad of a fight. Uh, unlike what I thought it was going to be. Once I saw that they were throwing the poisons on us. Let's see. Everyone just running around. Look at Hope. You're a beat. I love you, Hope. Oh, there's treasure over there. Let's grab that. I love I love my treasure. It's delicious. Oh, we're going to get... Oh, no. Wow. I'm surprised they actually saw me from there. That was interesting. I didn't actually expect them to uh, see me from there. So it was different. Definitely different. Let's take out these guys. I think they might be weak to fire based on the auto... The auto battle. Yeah, they're not... I think they are weak to fire. Yeah, they are. As you can see, we gain control over them by killing them. So we kind of know their weaknesses. That just might be me talking on my asshole. <laughs> it's okay, too. Kind of just want to see how Commando works against these guys. Oh, especially with Blitz. That's going to be helpful. That's good that we get that extra one ATB. Um, to finish off our power chain. Chain, excuse me. So that was good. Only got four stars there, though. That's a, that's a